I never shoot in slow mo. Do I want to do that? It's kind of corny. Do you like slow motion? Yeah. I don't even know how to put this camera in slow mo. <laughs> uh. Good guys, stock easy here, and today uh, it's a beautiful day, but it's also freezing outside. So we're gonna do something a little bit different. Um, I hit up one of my homegirls that I actually used to photograph a lot back in the day, and um, we're gonna go outside and shoot a little bit because I've been neglecting some cameras and doing portrait work. So I want to try and force myself to um, bring my styles together. Uh, it's something that I've been meaning to do for a long time. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be good at it today, but the dream is to eventually get some editorial work where I marry my street style and my old portrait photography. All right, so I pulled everything out that I plan on using for the shoot, and I put it here on the table. If I'm being completely honest, I don't need any of this stuff. I only need one body and one lens. If I was going out to shoot portrait photography like I used to do back in the day, all I need is my trusty 2470 or whatever zoom lens that it is that I want to stick on the camera because the reality is that that covers all bases. I'm not really a bokeh whore when it comes to taking portraits, and I actually think it's a crutch. So if you're someone that shoots fast portraits all the time, do yourself a favor, get out of that habit, shoot some at f4, f8, challenge yourself to include the environment and not just have a model stand somewhere in the middle of anywhere with some depth of field and shoot it at 1.2 because that's boring. Um, and if you look at magazines and portrait photography, you will rarely see images that look like that. Most things are shot at f8 and beyond um, to tell a little bit more of a story. So um, this is what I'm bringing with me. And again, like I said, if I was being completely honest, the only thing that I need is this 24 to 70. But as you know, I just got this lens, which is a 35 millimeter. Super All right, I'm just ready to go. And I've been thinking about the gear that I just said I was going to bring and I'm making an executive decision. I'm not bringing all that gear. I'm going to simply bring the SL2 and the 35 millimeter lens. That's it. SL2, 2470, 35 millimeter Simulox. And if I'm being completely honest, I don't need the 35 millimeter Simulox. I hate overcomplicating the kit. We're just doing some natural light portraits. I don't need a bunch of stuff carrying around with me. I already got this camera. I'm gonna have my GoPro and the SL2. I don't need a second body to shoot with, though it'd be fun to shoot some um, portraits on the uh, M body because I've never really done that before. Um, I'm just gonna do this because it's easier and I want to focus on taking portraits, not gear. So let's go. So I don't get all that caked up sweat and snot inside my mask because that's disgusting. Um, but yeah, I'm heading down to meet Hannah right now. And uh, it's a beautiful day. It's actually not that cold out. And that's probably just because the sun is shining on us. Yeah, I see ya. <laughs> I'm looking at you. There she is. What's up, girl? Oh, good to see you. Hello, you look beautiful. Hey. Yes. And the light is like, it's just really perfect. Like, let's go down this way. I know. I mean, it's... People are like, you're like, It's so strange. <laughs> Sorry to bother you, but you look amazing. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Am I filming? It's going on. It was so much fun though. Wait, let me get the first shot of you on this yellow here. This looks dope. 
Let me see if you get a little slouchy in that chair, actually. I'm gonna manicure this space just a little bit so I don't have to do that much in post. Slide down just a little bit more and maybe put your elbow if you can. Is that too far? These chairs don't move, huh? Actually, these are super awkward and uncomfortable, huh? <laughs> That's perfect. That's it. That's the one. <laughs> Why are they so far? They are really far. I've got a long ass torso. <sighs> this is a new day for me. I haven't shot portraits in a very long time. Close your eyes for a second, and then when I tell you open them, you open them, okay? So, one second, let me find it, and open. Let's keep moving. Spicy for those blue eyes. Yeah, it's a little too, I, I think it's too far from the table. I kind of want to, <laughs> we'll find a place where we can do what we want to do. Actually, let stand right here for one second. Yeah, we, I, we saw each other cross the bar and had that whole thing. Then we ended up at Los Feliz. Yeah. Tried to dance with each other, it like wasn't working. <laughs> so I, me and my boy, it's just like, we just like the vibe was like, oh, this is terrible. So we both tried to ditch each other. It's like, I'll be right back, I'm on the bathroom. And we ran into each other outside. <laughs> it was the fun. Like, uh -uh. Yeah, yeah. I and, love uh, that. And then, 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 then. Oh, um, this is kind of nice. Is this like 30? Let me take that back for a second. Are people taking pictures of me taking <laughs> Right there, hold that. Here? Just uh just a little bit more towards me. Yeah, right there, that's perfect. I'm just gonna introduce you actually. Okay. <laughs> this is Hannah. Hi. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a couple of photos from some stuff we shot in the past. Have you been shooting a lot lately? No. Not really, okay, so we're both just cutting our teeth again here. Um, she used to be one of my favorite muses back in the day, so we have several shoots we've done together, at least three. Yeah, yeah. Something like that, right? So, um, this is this, this is us. We're just back out here shooting and seeing if we get some good stuff, kind of like a test shoot. Um, Hannah brought her own clothes. Give us a little spin, beautiful. And uh, now we're on a handball court in Chinatown, and we're gonna see if we can do something cool with these shadows. Is it this side or is it the other side? Let me see what this looks like. Will you stand right on this this line here, actually? Get a little bit of that. Yeah, we'll put it back here, actually, because I might shoot a little bit of the floor. I got it. Yeah, right there. Actually, I want to see that white line. That's perfect. Yep. And then give me your shoulders how you did. They were kind of forward, right? Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> What's up, man? No, you're good. Thank you. Hmm. Ooh. This green is pretty nice, actually. Is this a clean spot? Would you sit here, actually? Is that I'll fine? Sit yeah. You did just tell me not to sit in chairs. <laughs> did I? I said, don't fall. <laughs> Especially not wearing uh, covered legs. Fuck. I hate that you can see my shadow. <laughs> Let me get your back lean on that for a sec. Yeah, right there. Will you put your hands in your coat pockets? See what that looks like. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Okay, I'm gonna have you stand up and do the same thing in your pockets and like real slouchy. Like you can actually kind of like see that bit of shadow. Oh, they're late. Are they leaving? No, they're not leaving. <laughs> Will you walk and stand right by my hand here? I'm trying to catch this light. Come forward just a touch, right there. And then do me a favor, I'm gonna have you go back a couple paces and then walk towards me, okay? 
And if you want, you can open the coat for this one. I'll take that. Let me change my settings here. So start at the garbage can, and then as soon as you get to right here, you can go back. Okay, ready? And go for it. Oh my God, this is such a good spot. Hold on, like, maybe we can get something here. Um, loop around, and then when you get in a group of, a group of people, just walk towards me and just come look at the camera. Yeah. They won't even know I'm here, yeah, so yeah. you go down and then come towards me. That was pretty sick. Man, I never shoot in slow mode. Do I want to do that? It's kind of corny. You like slow motion? Yeah. I don't even know how to put this camera in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you'll just walk like you're in slow motion. How's that sound? Yeah. <laughs> Is that cool? <laughs> I'll put some slow motion sound music. All right, let's go for it. <laughs> oh, actually, it does look like toaster. <laughs> I'm trying to find a good. Sp oh, this green is kind of dope. We got the green. We got the overhead. Let's start here in this little corner. Yeah, um, there's some poles around that have that. Have you seen those before? Poles. <laughs> your face just to see you can walk through hmm where can I be because my shadow is all up in this shit let me see yeah come this way I'm the captain now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, this recording, this is it. You wanna give me a zoom in on this? Yeah. You're holding that so crooked. I'm <laughs> it's literally like, <laughs> it's probably because you have the screen like that. So if you put the screen flat, you there did you go. It. <laughs> All right, there we go, 35 Sumalox. Yeah, boy. Mm, yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get a couple more portraits with this and then uh, we'll call it a wrap. Woohoo! Thank you. <laughs> that was excellent. <laughs> You're, You're hired. <laughs> You're hired, kid. Wait, let me make me say something to my GoPro real quick. Yeah. I know at the beginning of this video I said don't shoot portraits wide open, but obviously I'm shooting a Sumalox 1.4, so I'm going to shoot it wide open. It's not all about bokeh. Stop shooting portraits wide open. Get some depth. That's enough. Let me see what you look like backlit right here. All right, so that's a wrap. Um, the last few photos there, I just shot with the 35 millimeter Sumalux. We've only looked at it at the back of the LCD screen, which they look pretty good, right? I think Amazing. We're, I think we're pretty happy with the turnout, but I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna edit them up a little bit, and then I'll be sending them to Hannah pretty soon. So uh, if that last part is not included, this is Hannah's um, Instagram account <laughs> right down here. One more time, give her a follow. She um, 
is an incredibly funny girl and also beautiful, so what's the harm of following her? And you're gonna see more photos of us coming out together because I'm gonna shoot with her a lot more now that I'm, I'm back in the Lower East Side. I enjoy taking portraits today, so thank you, thank you for getting Jay. me out of the house to do this. Yay. Catch you guys later. Bye guys. All right, guys, thanks for watching that video. Uh, I hope this sounds nice and clear here. Um, yeah, so uh, listen, these videos are going to get better. My portraits are going to get better. This is a new segment that I really want to um, take advantage of. And uh, as I try to get better at this portrait street photography style, I'll have new models on and maybe once a month I'll do something like this. If you guys are interested in some of the portrait work sometimes, um, I feel like I've kind of gotten away from it. And I do love portraits, hence why I take a lot of street portraits. Um, so yeah this camera and lens really it's such an amazing setup no matter what you're shooting with if you could get yourself a 24 to 70 you're going to be capable of doing most things um when you're out working with a model i don't know if you noticed but there were barely any portraits taken at a telephoto length i tend to really enjoy 24 millimeter portraits so most of the stuff you saw was all 24 millimeters there was one in particular this image that was shot at 70 and not my vibe, wasn't feeling it at all. Also doesn't work for this type of street style. Um, maybe it could if I honed it in a little bit, but if there are a couple of lessons to take away from this video, um, I would say if you are testing with a model and you are trying to um, just take some portraits and stuff like that, a couple things that you need to take into account is one, uh, we did this kind of on the fly, so there were no locations that we scouted. We kind of just walked around and talked, which is the luxury of having a model that's also your friend. Um, but think about that. You also want to scout locations. So as you see things that you think look pretty nice, then maybe write it down so that when you do have a model, you can go back to there Two, outfit changes. We did not plan for that because it was cold and we weren't going to go inside any place so that she can change your outfits. Typically you rent a studio space or something like that, because if you take a bunch of incredible pictures and she's wearing the same outfit, you don't really get the mileage out of those photos that you, you you possibly could. But again, this is just a test shoot. Me and her were having some fun. She gets some photos to show her modeling agency that she um, can still model. And then, you know, I get to hone my ability. So location scouting and outfit changes are super, super important if you really want to get the most mileage out of your photos. Now, um, I don't think these were the best photos in the world. I think towards the end, I really started to get in my groove with it. Uh... But, you know, practice makes perfect. So if there's something you're feeling weak about, do yourself a favor and uh, practice at it because that's the only way that you're going to get some results. And also the third thing that I forgot to mention is I did not create a mood board. Um, I kind of went into this without any inspiration just to see where my raw ability was at with taking portraits these days. Um, if I had to dive in, I'd probably find some photographers who do a better job at this than me. And I'll show a couple images that I like right now to give you guys an idea of the direction that I'm heading in. But this gives me a pretty good idea of where I'm starting at. Uh, so yeah, I'll be reaching out to some more models and probably featuring this type of stuff on my channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And the last thing I'm going to say is like and subscribe. I never say that. But if you're watching this channel and you are not subscribed yet, what are you doing? Just, just hit the subscribe button. I want to keep making these videos. And, uh, you know, I I'm recording this right now and I'm about to upload this video so that I can keep doing this. This is Sunday. I want to upload a video every Sunday. So if you want to encourage me, help me out, hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.